Hey guys, thank you for joining. Today I'm going to show you how to create a Power BI app to consolidate reports and dashboards and then share them with different audiences. This is a really nice skill to have in Power BI and I'm going to show you how to do this step by step as always. So let's do this. I got this question a few times in the past. How do I consolidate my reports and dashboards and then share them with different audiences? So I have the answer for you guys. The first thing that you need to do here is to add your reports dashboards into a specific workspace. For this particular case, I have a workspace already. It's called Visualization. And then as you can see, I have different reports here. And also you can see my data sets here. I also have here dashboards as you can see here type dashboards so the main goal like i said before is to consolidate a few reports and a few dashboards in just one application and then share them with different audiences first step here is to create the app as you can see i have the option here create app so let's hit this option and then the first step here is to set up the app for the name you can add any name here and let's call this for now my first app so that's the name and also you can add descriptions here and then you can also add a logo i already have my logo here but if you don't have anything here you can just upload a logo and then place it here and then for the app theme color you can also have a few options here i usually like black or this color right here i think it's called charcoal i like this one right here and then you also have more options here let's select the first option for now shop app publisher you can also play here with the advanced settings so let's leave this as is for now the default features that we have here and then the next step here is to go over content so let's do that let's hit add content here and then here we have the options for this particular case we're going to select the first report that we have here and also this one right here dynamic access let's also select here this dashboard and also this report and then perhaps let's select another one right here role level security just for the example and then the next step here is to hit add so once we are there the next step here is to create audiences so let's hit this option as you can see now we have the reports and dashboards here we already have our first audience here it's called my first power bi report app and then you can start creating new audiences. So you can start customizing your distribution because there might be sensitive information that you don't want to share with other teams, but with specific teams only. So this is the time. So let's create a couple of audiences here just for the example, double click here and let's call this the finance team for now. For the finance team, it's okay for them to view these ones right here the PL300 dashboard and also the PL300 topics and then the other ones they shouldn't. So there is an option here as you can see let's hit the option this, there is an eye there and then this one right here boom. So what's happening here is that the finance team will have access to this dashboard and also this report only. The other ones are hidden for this specific team and then you can also add here names or groups so let's say that we have here names for now myself and then once it's there so we are good to go now let's create another audience here just for the example double click here let's call this new audience it team how about that the next step here is to customize the reports that they will have access to uh, for the it team they will have access to almost everything but role level security so let's hit this one right here and then we are good to go something really important to call out here is that you can create up to 10 audiences per app and also you can have 100 users or groups per audience something to keep in mind when you are creating your power bi apps so once we are done with this the next step here is to polish the app so let's do that and then before we do that you can add here a specific group for the it team or just for the example, I can add myself here as well. 
So once I'm done, just publish the app and let's see what happens. Publish the app and then you can copy the link here or you can go to app. So let's do that. See right there? So this is the app that we just created. And as you can see, we are part of the My First Power BI app audience. So we can see everything here. And then if you go over the finance team, this is the first audience that we created. And here, as you can see, we only have visibility to the first dashboard and the second report. So those are the only reports and dashboards that we have access to. And then if we go over the IT team, so we have access to almost everything, but the last report, as you can see, it's working perfectly fine. So now if we go back to the first audience, my first Power BI app, you can see here every single report or dashboard that we have as part of this application. So once we created this application, if you go back to Power BI service, this option right here, apps, now you can see the application here. This is the application that we just created. If you don't see the application here, you just need to go over get apps and then the application should be here. Select the application and then you are good to go. So let's close this for now. So let's go back to my workspace. I want to show you how to edit the app. Let's look here for the visualization workspace. Please remember here that we can create just one application per workspace but you can make any changes, any updates here. For this particular case, let's update the app. Let's hit this option here. So we are fine here with the first piece set up. For content, another cool thing that you can do here is to add additional content. Let's hit this option for now and let's add a new section. Double click here and rename this section. Let's call this info for now. And then you can also add a link if you want. I'll link and let's call this link more info about Power BI apps. And then for the link, you're gonna go over here, control C, control V, that is the link, open in current tab, that's fine. And then for the section, let's select info and let's hit add. So once we do that, so it's right there. So we just modify the application here we can go over audience here and then let's make this visible for the first audience. And then if you go over the finance team, let's make this visible for the finance team and the IT team as well. Perfect. So once we are done with that, let's hit update application. Update that. So it might take from five to 10 minutes and then let's go to the app real quick and let's see what happens. Let's see if those changes are already there. Aha, uh -huh. now we can see the info tab here. And then if you hit this option, it takes you to this website. So it's working perfectly fine. So let's double check that for the other audiences. How about the finance team? You can also see the information there. So it's right there. It's working perfectly fine. IT team, the info tab is also there. Check this out. It's working perfectly fine. Real quick folks, let's talk about licenses. If you are creating these reports, these applications, you need to have a Power BI Pro license or a premium per user license as well. For app consumers, there are a couple of things to be aware of. The first one is that if the workspace is not in a Power BI premium capacity, everyone, every consumer, every end user should have a Power BI Pro license or a premium per user license. But if the workspace is in a premium capacity, they don't need to have any type of license. All right, my friends, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If so, as always, please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe if you don't wanna miss anything. Thank you guys for your time and see you in my next tutorial.